those next steps? Um, I think they put, a, they put together a very good report, it was pretty detailed. I hadn't seen it until I had seen the preliminary thing in their agenda, but I haven't read the whole report, but uh, they've done it in a very professional way, uh, and that's really what we're looking for, something independent to see whether they learn more about this, uh, what is stage two, and what are the criteria, whether we can even be considered to uh, go forward. The thing now is, I think that was always a step that would say, um, yes, it's possible here, now are you interested? And under what terms are you interested, and how would you move forward? And so I think the, there was a number of options that uh, presented and questions asked by council. Um, you know, I think so. We'll see where we go. Um, um, knowing that we have four of our neighbors, or five, I guess if you count the one five in here in Bruce counties that are interested, and still about the same that we are, learning more about this. So um, I suspect I don't know what council will do, but. Uh, I don't think it ever hurts to hurt learn more about the process. What would you like to do? Um, well, I want to look at everything that I've seen there, John, but I, I, I think uh, I'm not afraid to, to learn more about this and to find more out. But I think it's important that, uh, you know, like I say, with our neighbors going forward, that we learn about the process. Still, it's, it's, it's in no way a commitment, but I, I uh, have some more interest in the seeing. Um, I think tonight probably raises more questions than it answers about the community as, you know, is it right for the well-being of the community and what does the feasibility study to do? So I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll have another look at it and say, okay, what's it going to mean for Soggy Shores and what's it going to mean for the for our neighbors, you know, if they go forward? They mentioned public consultations and, and dialogue with the public to determine what is the well-being and, and, and their will, how you, you determine their willingness to proceed further. What kind of things would you do other than these open houses that NWMO is hosting? What else are you going to do? I think we mentioned a couple of things. During the feasibility study, you could do like a, vi a community of visioning to say, you know, what is your vision for the community aside from this? How do you, how do you, how do you, would you meet those goals? How do you see in the long term, Sogging Shores meeting those visioning goals of, and I've got some ideas and I'm sure the community does, but then does this thing fit with it? Would, would a project like this fit with, with that vision? And uh, you could answer that question. Uh, the feasibility study part of it, I think, and that was the question I got at, and I would be very concerned about. I mean, they talk about community well-being. How do you demonstrate that? How do you measure that? And to do that, I think you would get a you know, I think it needs to get away from council. Uh, we, and it would be members of the community that would sit on some type of a committee uh, to say, okay, let's look at this. Or, you know, look at those things that are, are concerned, like community well-being and uh, social economic factors, whatever they may be, uh, and try to come up with an answer for it. And always, and I think what's pretty kind of the strength of the thing, <laughs> is that whatever you can, whatever that comes up with, then at that point you can go and have it peer reviewed by some other independent expert to say, is there some accuracy here, did you miss something, uh, or is it even right for your community? Okay, good, thanks Mike. Okay, thank you.